He's off. He's running. He's running. He's west. He's eastbound. Eastbound. Go. Your old lady maced it. Okay. Mike Stop comes up in. behind me and yanks my hair down and pulls me down. Do you know what's going on with this lady out here? The night of the 23rd, room 157 was broke into. Is it yours? No. Does that crack belong to you? I know it's not hard. We have a guy that wants to deliver $400 worth of crack cocaine to uh, undercover officers, so we placed a call to him. Right, he's going to come and meet us over here at a business. Uh, when he pulls into the parking lot, we'll uh, go ahead and take him off right then and there. Hey, are you guys in place? We're going to we're gonna park across the street. He got out. Right, right, black got out. male's out on foot. Now, Greg and Paul is leaving, but the passenger is out on foot. Where's he at? Start That's moving right up there. on him. He's on the That's phone. That's the guy Go right there. Snatch him. He's in front of the bait and tackle shop now. That's him right there. That's it right there. Ready? 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 He's going to run, Eddie. There he goes. He's off. He's running. He's running. He's west. He's eastbound. He's eastbound. Go. Clear right. Get, him. Get him. Get him. Clear right. Clear right. Go. Go, cut it. Okay, 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 okay. Get your hands on your back. See if you can recover what he dropped, because he was running. Yeah, we got him. We got him. Left pocket. Search him down real quick. He was reaching into his front left pocket. Get his phone, too. I got his phone. I got the phone. All right. Let me get, let me get by here. Do you see him dump anything? It's kind of hard uh, to tell. He reached in. He, he was in his, his left pocket. He had it like this the whole time. Bone in his hand. Eddie. Open your mouth. He ate it. Oh, yeah, it's all over. Yeah, it's all over your tongue. Sit him up. Just Listen, sit him up. It's sit important up. we know how much you ate. So yeah. how much did you eat? Know that you ate it. I can see it. Demetrius, look at me. Okay. Here we go. Here comes the show. Come on. How much you eat? Buddy, we just want to help you out. We need to know, because if we got to get you to the hospital, oh! we got to get you to the hospital. Your heart's racing right now. It's not good to ingest cocaine after a foot chase. How much hey, you eat, hey, what honey? what you doing, man? Why you holding the shirt, man? You're choking me! Just sit, stand him up. Let's go. Get up. Come on, we'll he ate it off. I didn't see him. We, we were right on him. I didn't see him drop anything. He ate it. My phone number's in your phone. You realize you've been talking to me on a sheriff's office phone, right? You yeah. realize that now your phone is evidence, right? You realize phone, the conspiracy bro. going that ain't on my here? Phone, bro. I've been talking to you for the last hour, That's ordering not, up two hundred dollars. I don't own that phone. You don't? Bro. They got it in your pocket. That's not my phone. I was talking to you on the phone. You wasn't, bro. Was, was it? You wasn't. You was talking to Red. What's your name? Who is it? My name is Demetrius. I know who I was talking to. I've got. I already know everything about you. I know your brother. I know everything about you. Yeah, cause you the so police. You wanna play the game. You the police. We'll play the game, but I know exactly who I was talking to. You said to me, "Hey, I'm right out of here. Get out of your truck. Come get me." I'm right in front. Come out, meet me in the front. But that's you had this cell phone on you. Phone. Prove it wasn't you. Prove that it wasn't is, you. That is not my phone. It's not your phone? No. Nope. You had it in your pocket, right? It doesn't matter, bro. It doesn't matter? I spoke to you. We can sit here and argue about you this all day, Chief. The bottom line is, tonight you're going to jail, tonight you're taking the ride. You're lost. But you tried to what? serve dope to an undercover cop. I, bottom line. What, what a dope at? You got the dope? Don't need it. All right, then. Don't need it. The only thing you can do, tamper with whatever <laughs> you're going to say. Still okay, same charge, delivery bro. charge. D, it's the same charge. Yeah. We're it's the same that. charge, bro. Nothing's changed. You're still getting hit with a delivery. This is the car that he jumped out of, um, started running. It's amazing how he's sitting here denying this whole thing, but I mean, even right here, he's all over his lips, and then there's a cocaine rock in the center console of his car. So he left something behind. And this is his car. This is Demetrius' car and uh, a sack of weed also. So, you know, he's going to deny this all the way, but he wasn't running for exercise. Apparently, he was going to deliver dope. Well, they swabbed his mouth. He put it all in his mouth. Uh, you can see here, it go, it, when you test it, it turns blue if it's positive for cocaine, which in this fact it did. These are the two swabs that they used to get this uh, sample out of there. So. Three. three swabs. So he's going to go to jail for uh, delivery of cocaine, you know, fleeing. And the other two guys are also going to go to jail too. Oh, 
old lady mace me. Your old lady my ex, mace my ex old lady. Mike yanks my hair down and pulls me down, and I spray him with my mace. If you still love her, you gotta learn to let her go. You know she's armed she's... now. <laughs> Got a call, reference uh, domestic trouble, subjects fighting out in the middle of the street. Other units are en route at this time. What's going on? My old lady maced me. Your old lady ex, maced you. My ex old lady. OK. All right, do you need medical treatment? No, I washed my, I need some milk or something. I can't get okay. in my house. My mom went to go pick some money up. OK. And I'm over here, right there, you know where the steps are by the court? Yes. And uh, here come all of our friends, and this little mixed girl walks up to Brittany and Allie, okay. right? Right. And me and Brittany and Allie standing there talking, and the mixed girl walks up, and then here comes my ex-girlfriend and uh, Erica. Okay. I come walking by, and then Miss Girl goes, uh, why do y'all walk like that, talking to Brittany and Allie? And then my girl, my ex-girlfriend comes walking by, and she goes like this. She walks like this. And just walks on? And, which, and then took off running with her and her little uh, stepbrother. Which way did she go? I ran in the board. I couldn't see. I ran in the board. I fell first, and I ran in the board. Which way did she go? She lives right up here. She, they all ran up to her mom's. Okay, what's that name? She will try to sign a restraining order on me. Okay. What's the address? Uh, I don't know the address. What's her name? Kim. She's 18. Okay. What's your name, partner? Michael. Michael. Don't know the address. See if you can see it. It should be on the uh, east side of the street. All right. All right. I I need to speak to uh, Kim. Um, what occurred down there? I was walking the house street with my brother. Okay. He's in the house and him. Okay. okay? And. Mike comes up behind me and yanks my hair down and pulls me down. Like, right the back of her Yeah, shirt. and pulls me down. Well, I get back up and I spray him with my mace. Okay. So basically, he pulled your hair. Yeah. They've had a domestic down. before. There's still bruises that you can see. Okay. He's saying he was just sitting down there with people on the steps and you can't walk by him and spray no. it. Yeah, right. Yeah. He's just claiming you well, were I mean, a bunch of girls. He was still on the steps, and you just walked by and sprayed him because he was sitting there with some other girl. She's never been in trouble in her All life. All right. Check her record. All right. Hang tight for me. I'll be right back with you. Thanks. All right. Here's the deal. I'm getting two sides of the story, your side and their side, and they have uh, the witnesses stating what their, her side is. She's claiming that you oh came up behind God. her and knocked her to the ground, and when she got up and sprayed you and ran off. Oh, my God. I did not push her down. She come around the corner and maced me. Her mom's doing this. Come out with her left hand and spray me. OK. Because she was walking by me. And she was Where did she pull the mace out of? I, it was already in her hand. She was she walking was just with her hand behind it? her back. Okay. I didn't notice until she got up on me. All right, hang tight. There's not really any assault, domestic yeah, assault. Yeah, there's not really any domestic assault. I don't, I don't think they If have anything, any. it might just be assault. He lives here for with his parents. Right. Yeah. She yeah, lives she there, lives with, there with her parents. Yeah, and they never gravitate together. They don't have any children, children together. Common. Okay. I just don't want nothing to do with her. It's not the simple fact that her, she's all bad. It's just her family. Right. Kenny, little Kenny, he gets on my nerves, man. All right. And when I'm around them all, I can, it's just me and her, we're all right. But when we're around them all, or when she's around them, it's just all bad. OK. Well, here's the deal. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and stand up for me. The thing is, is you're young, she's young. If you still love her, you got to learn to let her go, OK? If it's meant to be, she'll come back to you. And if not, oh, oh well, you know she's uh, armed she's, now, she's, she's so I would. Come uh, back. I would uh, watch your P's and Q's when you're messing with her because she's got pepper spray and that you know that stuff hurts now and hopefully you won't have any more problems with it, okay? Have a good night. Be safe. All right, Kim. You want to step down here? Is she going to jail? Uh -uh. No, ma'am. You know, I've explained to him, you're now armed with pepper spray. You can use it. You're allowed to carry it. Just go easy on it because you saw just, I don't know how much you sprayed, but I mean, it pretty much put him down. So, I mean, you're not, you're not in trouble for that. You're allowed to defend yourself when you feel threatened. The best thing for us to do right now is it's the weekend, it's your birthday. Try and enjoy it and forget about all the, the drama that doesn't really matter. Why are the police looking for you? Do you have any idea? I'm not from here. Some items were found in your room that had been reported stolen. She came to the front desk and said, I lost my key, and they didn't ID her or anything. Well, you know why. We got a, a female that units were looking for earlier, uh, that she's a possible uh, burglary suspect. 
and he told the front office that if she shows up again to give us a call, and apparently she just showed up. Oh, that could be her standing right there in the doorway. So we'll. Uh... If you don't have it, I believe it's 3350. So what's going on? Why are the police looking for you? Do you have any idea? No. Well, what happened was that. I'm not from here, okay. so I had to go to California you know, okay. to go take care of the child support thing over there. So I just left. Everything I need is there. Okay, then we'll, we'll work that out. Just stand right here in the front for me. Hang tight. Let me check something. I'm Sergeant Jenkins. Do you know what's going on with this lady out here? The night of the 23rd room, 157 was broken into. Is that, was that her room or next no, to her? No, she was in 259. Okay. Um, the police that were here at the time, they entered her room okay. and found the stolen merchandise. It was ID, credit cards, watches. I think one of the watches and some other mm -hmm. personal items were found in her room. Okay. And the credit cards had about $3,900 spent. How about the people that was in the other room in 157? Did they make yeah, a report? Yeah, they have a copy of the report. Um, they actually live in Australia. They're not here anymore then, huh? No, they left the next day. They and, had no money left. And you guys don't have anything that says that a report um, was I taken, can, do you? Go we'll look around my boss's office. Can, so you, can you look and see? Sure. OK, thank you. Yeah. How old's your boy? He's 11. Is he ever getting any kind of trouble? Him? Good kid? Yeah, he's a good boy. He's not burglarizing in the motel room, is he? <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. But he's not, right? Would you be surprised if I told you that when they packed out your room because you skipped, basically, and that's what they do, mm -hmm. that some items were found in your room that had been reported stolen from that Australian couple? Some items? Would that be surprising to you? In a way, yes. I mean, why... See where we're going with this? Right. I mean... You haven't really given me any kind of an explanation of how this could possibly have happened. Well, that's, that was the only time that she was there. I mean, in the room, and that was the only time that I practiced. I think that was like the last time I seen her. But here's where we have an issue. The way it works in a hotel like this, I'm sure you have one of those little plastic keys. You know what I'm saying? You get in and out of your room, right? right? Well, the reason we know that you or somebody that you gave the key to, that you got from the front desk, was because when entry was made into their room, it locked, it locked the time, OK? And they were at the pool, and I know they were at the pool because there's a credit card receipt that proves they paid out their bill at a time when their room was being opened and both of them were at the pool. Unless you have a really great explanation, you're the one that's going down for this. You pat her and cuff her up while she thinks about her story. Stay in front of my car. When she went to that lady's room, she probably had her she son. Went, she came to the front desk and said, I lost my key, and they didn't ID her or anything. Well, you know why, because she looks the way she does. Right. So what she did was they picked it while they were out on the pool. I mean, I know I did wrong. I accept it. I know I did wrong. You're right, but sometimes you just what gotta stand I up. I know I am, and I'm okay. willing to do whatever. Yeah. Willing to do whatever to prove to you that that's. There, there were more things that were taken. <laughs> but not, did, did, why me? Well, if, if only you and the woman went in the room. That was it. Then there's, there still doesn't explain to me how other things of hers ended up in your room. That I don't know. Yeah, like I said, I put that on. God can kill me right now. What happened, what happened to the blue purse and the card? Well, I got rid of that. Where? Yeah, it's like I just threw it out when we left. And then what I did, see, it's like I'm being honest with you. You know, I got the red bill, and then I cashed it, and they gave me like $13 for the 20 She finally gave us a story. She's given us enough descriptive information, even though we don't have the property here that there's no other way that she would have known it was in there had she not taken it. Right. I mean, it only took two and a half hours of convincing her. Yeah, she, yeah, she was sticking to her story. I think she was thinking that, uh, you know, she was going to walk away from her. Because it's easy just to blow these things off because they're tourists that yeah. we're not going to even follow up with. I think sometimes here in, in America when we're doing law enforcement, we get caught up as to what we think criminals look like. And sometimes they can be nice. Look, crime is crime, and it doesn't matter what you look like. This gentleman's house over here that y'all said you went to, okay? He's a known drug dealer. There's some crack in the middle console. Is it yours? No. Does that crack belong to you? No, I know it's not, sir. Right now we're behind a, a white Chevy Blazer with a tag expiring. We're going to pull him over, see if we can find anything else going on within the night. Yeah, guys, I did find some history at one of the houses nearby at 860 Lower Mill Road, but that was from... February of this year. 
and it's sold. Tight 10 traffic stop. DL on a white Chevy Blazer occupied twice of us. Hey guys, what's going on today? Okay, the reason I pulled you over, guys, you got a, your tag's a little bit out of date back here. Okay, I thought I had to the end of the month. No, it says uh, it comes back as expired at July 9th. Oh, shoot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Is that your information, mom. sir? Uh huh. This is your mom's vehicle? Yeah. Is that correct? Mm hmm. Okay. Where y'all coming from today, man? Oh, I'm coming from my house. Okay. Not Vine Street. You want to come back here and speak to me for a minute, sir? About what's going on? It says there's a white male, heavy set wearing glasses, walking north on Market, carrying a knife and yelling at people. Okay. You said this is your mother's vehicle, is that correct? Okay. Let me ask you something real fast, okay? Is it anything about you particular? Do you have anything illegal on you? Okay. Okay. Do you mind if I check? Sure. Okay. You come back here and talk to me real fast. Negative. They're about to dad. Okay. Now, <clears throat> let's go over this story one more time. I just want to clarify what's going on, okay? Okay. Where y'all coming from tonight? Uh, I'm coming from right. actually over there. The party over there. Where's over there? The um, They're also about no. to be turned down the first row to the left the past Walgreens. Okay. What's, what's going on over there? I mean, why'd y'all get out over there? Oh, I went over there to borrow a lawnmower. A lawnmower? Yeah. Is a lawnmower in here? No. Okay. So what happened with that? He wouldn't let me use it. So. Wouldn't let you use it? Uh -uh. Who's he? Dude. Dude? Do you know dude's yeah. name? Yeah. What's his name? His name is Russ. His Russ? Yeah. Okay. How do you know Russ? I sold him a car. You sold him a, a car? A long time ago. Yeah. Okay. How long ago was that? Do you remember? Uh, probably a couple of years ago. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're in the area. Is there anything illegal in the vehicle that you know of? No, there's not. Okay. Do you mind if I search it? Sure. Okay. Sure. Selena gets the hood for me. I'm going to go ahead and get him out. Normal on Hey, Davey, can you come back here and talk to me for a minute, please? I just want to make sure I'm getting everything correct, okay? So I'm going to ask you the same things I asked him, okay? Okay. What's going on tonight, man? Where y'all coming from? Vine Street. From Vine Street? Yeah. Did y'all stop anywhere along the way? Mm. Anything like that? We'll get a long, uh, the dude's house water along the way. First off, you know, the reason I pulled y'all over, your tag expired, okay? okay. Uh, the problem is this gentleman's house over here that y'all said you went to, okay? He's a known drug dealer. Okay. Okay. So I'm not saying you guys are doing drugs, but you got to stop the good to get out with the bad. You know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. And so that's why it's going to the links it's going. You know okay. what I'm saying? So the driver already gave me consent to search the vehicle, but is there anything illegal in there that you know about? Nope. Anything like that? OK. All right. Just hang tight for me for a minute, okay. OK? Their stories match up. They both advised that they were over at a different house trying to borrow a lawnmower. Um, however, the time of night, it's uh, you know close to 1040 at night. There's really no reason to be trying to borrow a lawnmower. Look in the little cassette tape here. Oh, we got a little baggie with some crack here. Hey, go ahead and turn around for me. So there's some crack in the middle console. Is it yours? No. It's not your crack? No. Okay. I'm gonna come talk to David. David, let me ask you a question. There's some crack in the middle console. Does that crack belong to you? No, sir. You're positive that crack's not yours? I know it's not, sir. OK. They're both fine. Hey, dude, good. listen up, guys. Whose crack is it? Just be honest with us. If it is one of y'all's, and y'all are just saying, oh, if I tell them it's not mine, it'll go away. That's not how it works. We know what the house is. We know the guy there. We know you didn't go over there to borrow a, a lawn mower at 1030 at night. We know what the guy does. Why do you think we watch the house? Why do we think we know we knew exactly what you were doing? Dude, we're not idiots. All right? We'll put them in the cars and we'll check it more thoroughly, make sure there's nothing else in there. This is going to be about a uh, $20 crack rock. It's a one-time usage, but maybe get these guys some help that they need.